For this week's pet parade, we are joined by Buddy Dog Humane Society. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you so much. And you brought a bonded pair. You believe this is a mother and daughter? Yes, that's our best guess, mom and daughter. Oh, and tell us about them. So these two girls were found in Texas, so we don't really know their history, um, but thankfully rescued, definitely overgrown coats and had been you know, looking for a place to go. And once they were taken into rescue and moved into a foster home, they really blossomed. They're, as you can tell, a little shy with new people. So, Aww, the but they do come shy. out of their shell, right? Totally come out of their shell. Very sweet. Even when they're feeling really shy, they're always very, very gentle. Um, they came up and then had a grooming appointment this week. They look fabulous. And mm -hmm. they did wonderful <laughs> for the groomer. They do wonderful in the car. They do great with older, you know, calm children. Um, and just really sweet girls love a really cozy bed to sleep on. <laughs> and they also get some play time. You know, we do get some zoomies and, um, the foster mom in Texas mentioned they really love to like roll around in the grass, you know, that fresh crystal yeah. and like, <laughs> that like doggy roll. Um, so they, they definitely know how to enjoy life. <laughs> and you said this one, is, this is Mimi, right? Yes. So this is Mimi. We think she's about 10 years old. And Tay Tay. And we think Tay Tay's about eight years old. And they seem to be some sort of terrier mix, so very low shedding. Um, you know, when you pet them, it's, it's, you're hard pressed to get a hair or two. So, um, you know, for, for people with low allergies, Allergies, that would be a very um, a very handy thing to have. For they, people do, who don't like to vacuum. Yes, <laughs> they will need regular grooming appointments, of course, because that that hair does keep growing and would get matted if not taken care of. So, because they're bonded, are there things that people at home should know when taking care of two dogs instead of one? Um, you know, I'm I'm kind of an optimist. I think it's double it's, the fun. It's double the fun, and and in some ways easier. You know, if you need to go out for the you know a long afternoon or you're out for the day, they've got each other to keep each other company. You don't feel as guilty. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, you can tell how much you know. We we put them down in two separate spots, and they immediately migrated together. Um, they really adore each other, and especially um, Tay Tay can be a little bit more nervous. Definitely lets Mimi take kind of take the lead and really gains her confidence from her. So it's it's nice to see how she can really start to blossom when Mimi says, everything's okay, let's go. Well, Tay Tay's already kind of calmed down a little yeah. bit since she's been here. They are really, really okay. sweet together. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Is there any particular kind of home or family that you would be looking for for them? So they're pretty easy, so pretty versatile. You know, a lot of times we will get a dog that has to have a fenced yard or has these requirements, but these guys, as long as you're ready to to do the grooming <laughs> appointments and take care of two kind of older girls. They, they'll be happy to go for a walk, but also if it's a rainy day, they're happy to stay in, cuddle on the couch. They seem That's really cool. I feel like it's Mimi nice. likes belly rubs, because you can already yeah. see she's trying to roll over for those oh. belly rubs there. Oh. For anyone watching who's interested in these two sweet girls, how can they get in touch with you guys? So we are on the web, and our uh, online application is on the website, so that would be the next step. Um, you can see their photos. Actually, we have some cute before and after grooming photos on the oh. website. And then also our online application is there. So we're really hoping people will be interested in the How duo. How could you not be? <laughs> they are and so double cute. the fun. <laughs> Love that. All right, Buddy Dog Humane Society, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having us. And we have some success stories we'd like to share with you. This puppy, Pirate, from Schultz's guest house, was adopted by Christine. And Pirate stole the show last weekend with his Pirate. really big, adorable yawns and falling asleep in <laughs> Tiffany's arms. And now he is living his best life with Christine in Hyde Park. And Gemma also appeared on Pet Parade with Pirate last week. She has found a new forever home in Framingham with two young brothers and a canine sibling. And look at her smile. She looks Aww. so happy. We're so happy for her. And you might remember Nancy and Patty with those names. How could you forget? <laughs> They're a bonded pair of Yorkies from the Situate Animal Sh Shelter. They were adopted together and they have a new dog sibling and they get to go to work with their new mom. That's How adorable. I love those two. They were so spunky. <laughs> 